Father Sky. Mother Earth. My friend. Warehouse number eight. I'd like to speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazuki. One moment, please. Hazuki? Oh, it's you, Guizhong. I was just talking to my father about Tao Shao. I see. You met the Grandmaster, didn't you? Yeah. I see. What were your impressions of the Grandmaster? Well... Incredibly strong. <laughs> that much is obvious. You're no match for a master. What? Just being honest. Um, well... <laughs> you never change, do you? How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. I wish I could thank him again in person. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll tell him next time I see him. Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. I'd like to speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazuki. One moment, please. Hazuki? Oh, it's you, Guizhong. I was just talking to my father about Tao Sha. I see. You met the Grandmaster, didn't you? Yeah. I see. What were your impressions of the Grandmaster? Well... Hmm. Well... Kind of scary, to be honest. Scary? Not every day that I hear that out of you. Yeah. Not the most approachable person I've met. It went beyond the Master's formidable martial arts. What's that supposed to mean? The Grand Master could sense my feelings. Help me realize what I was missing. I see. But it was a huge help. It's a debt I'll never repay. I see. I'm glad it worked out for you. Thanks. How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. I wish I could thank him again and- <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll tell him next time I see him. Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. I'd like to speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazuki. One moment, please. Hazuki? Oh, it's you, Guizhong. I was just talking to my father about Tao Le Shao. I see. You met the Grand Master, didn't you? Yeah. I see. What were your impressions of the Grand Master? Well... Hmm. Well, she was very pretty. The Grand Master was what? Grandmaster Tao Li Shao is a woman. Really? I was surprised myself. And she was beautiful, you say? Yeah, I'd say so. Really? She was that beautiful? Um, yeah. I thought so. <sighs> What's wrong, Guizhong? I was just thinking I should pay Grandmaster Tao Li Shao a visit sometime. Oh yeah? Want to come with me? How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. 
I wish I could thank him again in person. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll tell him next time I see Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. Harasaki. Hazuki? Yeah. Oh, hi. Can you sound good? I'm doing good. Are you still in China? Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. I've got my martial arts. Yeah, you really helped me out back in Yokosuka. I'm sure you can take care of yourself. But don't get into any trouble, okay? Harasaki. It's not like I enjoy putting myself in dangerous situations. I know that, but you take it too far sometimes, and that worries me. Too far, do I? That includes trying to go to Hong Kong, and fighting Enoki in the park. I had no choice. But that's what I worry about. But I can't just sit back and do nothing when people I care about are in danger. I could never forgive myself if I did. Did you say people you care about? Um, yeah. I mean, of course I care about you, Harasaki. You're an important friend. Yeah, that's what I am. A friend. Yeah, you're my friend. But please try to be careful, okay? I worry about you. Okay. Nozomi? Can you give me a hand here? Oh. My mother is calling for me. I see. Can you call me back later? Sure. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. Harasaki. Hazuki? Yeah. Oh, hi. Can you sound good? I'm doing good. Are you still in China? Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. I have Shenhua with me, so there's nothing to worry about. Shen... what? A friend I made in Guiling. A friend, huh? Yeah. It really helps having a local around. Yeah, I could see that. I've finally made some friends in Canada, and I'm having more fun at school. That's good to hear. Yeah, but I can't really compare my situation to yours. Harasaki. Your travels are much harder than mine. I doubt you're having much fun at all. I'll be fine, Harasaki. And I do find time to have fun now and then. Really? Sure. I see unusual things and learn new techniques. All of that is fun for me. Oh, I'm relieved to hear that. This friend is that Shenhua, right? Yeah, pretty much. We're like traveling buddies right now. I see. He must really get along well. I guess so. Is Shenhua a martial artist like you? No, not really. I see. Love to meet this Shenhua someday. Yeah, that'd be fun. I hope you get the chance to. Me too. I'd be curious to meet someone you get along with so well. Is Shenhua anything like Sakurada? What do you mean? Or maybe Shenhua is more like Goro from the harbor. <laughs> no, not exactly. Something wrong, Hazuki? Shenhua is. She what? Actually... Nozomi? Can you give me a hand here? Oh, my mother is calling. 
calling for me. I see. Can you call me back later? Sure. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. Harasaki. Hazuki? Yeah. Oh, hi. Can you sound good? I'm doing good. Are you still in China? Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. I've still got the amulet. The one you gave me. The amulet? I've had it with me ever since I left Japan. For good luck. Really? I've had some close calls since then but I've survived them all. I think it might be because your amulet is protecting me. I hope that's true. Thinking back on it now, I wish I would have given you something. Really? To be honest, I only thought of it as a memento at first. I thought you'd say that. But my feelings toward it have changed as I've traveled. Changed? It came to me when I received an amulet in Hong Kong. It's not just a thing, it's a person's heart. I feel like I finally understood the feelings of someone who wants me to stay safe. That's why I always carry your amulet with me. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear you say that. But, uh, Hazuki? Hmm? What is it, Harasaki? You got an amulet in Hong Kong? Who gave it to you? Um, a martial arts master who helped me out. Yeah, that's right. Nozomi, can you give me a hand here? Oh, my mother is calling for me. I see. Can you call me back later? Sure, I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right, talk soon. It's me, Goro. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Still getting the job done? Of course I am, bro! What are you doing? Still rocking the fork at the harbor! Fork? Oh, you must mean the forklift. Yep, good old Alpha Trading Office. Right. You know, bro, you're a legend around here. A legend? I mean, you beat the Mad Angels all by yourself, didn't you? Um, you give me too much credit. Don't be silly! I'm proud of you too, bro! Why are you proud? I'll call again sometime. Sure! Call me anytime you want! I'm sure Mai would love to talk to you too! Sounds good. Later, Goro. It's me, Goro. Oh, is that you? Yeah. That reminds me. Didn't you say you were getting married? Yeah, I'm totally serious about it. And of course, Mai is too. What does she see in him? Did you just... Huh? Did you just say something? Um, no, nothing. Does Hisaka approve of the marriage? Big sis? Yeah. Did I say something strange, bro? Um... No, nothing. Bro, you know, I really understand. Understand what? 
that you must wonder if it's really okay for a former punk like me to be with a girl like Mai. Goro. But I'm determined to do this right. I would go to the ends of the earth for her. I will dedicate my whole life to her happiness. I see. I can tell how serious you are about this, Goro. I'm so glad to hear that, bro! Make her the happiest woman alive, Goro. Yes, sir! I'll call again sometime. Sure! Call me anytime you want. I'm sure Mai would love to talk to you, too! Sounds good. Later, Goro. Later! Take care of yourself! It's me, Goro. Oh, is that you? Yeah. How is Mai doing? She's great, doing very well. That's good to hear. Mai is always happy and full of energy. You better not do anything to make her cry, Goro. What are you talking about, bro? I'd never do anything to hurt her. You sure? Of course I'm sure, bro. Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, it's just that Maya's really scary when she's mad. I see. So you're scared of upsetting her? You think? I'm definitely no match for her. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Bro! I'll call again sometime. Sure, call me anytime you want. I'm sure Maya would love to talk to you too. Sounds good. Later, Goro. Later, take care of yourself. you doing, Joy? Huh. Mm, fine, I guess. That's good to hear. You? Not so bad. Cool. Mm. <sighs> um. Uh. Hey, um. What's wrong, Joy? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Really. Nothing, huh? Huh. Then there's nothing wrong with me either. All right. I guess I'll let you go then. You what? Wait! What? You finally call and that's it? Well, I didn't really have much to say. Is that right? Anyway, I'll call again sometime. Yep, I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if you did. Ugh, damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay, I'll be careful. to Ren here. Ren? I knew it. So we did go after you. Yeah. Well, play nice. Play nice? With Ren? Why not? You'd make a great team if you ask me. Don't make me laugh. Nobody would make a great team with him. He's only interested in treasure. Treasure is about the last thing I'm after. That may be true, but I think you two would have a blast together. A blast? With Ren? Really? Definitely. I mean, he really liked you, didn't he? Give me a break. <laughs> anyway, 
I'll call again sometime. Yep. I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if you did. Ugh. Damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay. I'll be careful. Wong doing? Wong? He's fine. That's good to hear. What? You worried about him or something? He really helped me out a lot. And I didn't? You were a huge help too, Joy. I really appreciate everything you did. Now you tell me. But you're an adult, right? Wong is just a kid, and yet, he did so much for us. Well, he's fine. But you know his story, don't you? What do you mean? He survives by stealing people's bags when the need arises. Oh, right. I remember that now. He's tough. That kid can take care of himself. True. Anyway, I'll call again sometime. Yep, I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if he did. Ugh. Damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay. I'll be careful. Hoping to talk to Xu Ying. The Grand Master? Are you in some kind of trouble? Trouble? If you want to talk to the Grand Master, it must be to ask about some kind of secret technique, right? A secret technique? No. It's nothing like that. So you met some super strong opponent and want to know how to beat them. It's that, right? No. That's not why I'm calling. Really? Well, I wanted to ask her if you'd been crying or not. What? Me? Yeah. But, um, I don't know what to say. You're so dumb, real son. How did you make fun of me? <laughs> By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? Hey, yes, everyone is fine. They're all here working hard every day. I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. I will. You can count on me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too. Hoping to have a word with Hanhui. Hanhui? Did I hear that right? Yeah, it's about a martial arts scroll. I see. In that case, he's the perfect person to ask. Yeah. I'll make sure to get word to him. What would you like me to ask him? It's okay. I'll call back later. Oh? But why? I think this subject might be a bit advanced for you. <laughs> What's the matter? 
Er, no. That wasn't my intention. I've had it already! By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? Yes, everyone is fine. They're all here working hard every day. I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. I will. You can count on me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too. called Niawu right now, and I came across a telephone. I thought I'd call to see how you're doing. Ryo-san. Hmm? What's wrong? You just thought you'd call? Oh? Were you concerned that I was worried about you? Um... I pray to Guan Yu every day in hopes that he'll keep you safe. I see. I hope we meet again someday. Fong Mei. The Grand Master doesn't say much, but I know she's worried about you. I don't mean to worry anyone. Huh? The last thing we want from you is an apology. Hmm. Then what should I... Come back to us. Well, I can't really do that. Do what you set off to do, and then come back to us. Fong Mei. Then I'll forgive you for leaving. It's a deal. Thank you, Fong Mei. By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple to... Hey, yes! I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. I will. You can count on me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too. Say I have. Oh snap! Seriously? Yeah, well, I'm not good at that type of thing. No way! So that's why Nozomi went to Canada. No, that's not the reason why she went. L love? I I You've gotta at least give her a ring, man! A phone call? Yeah, man! I don't even know why you're still talking to me. Um I'm going to go, but let's talk again sometime. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. I'll be waiting. Later, Tom. Goodbye, Ryo. See you around. to think about that right now. Really? I'm not here to fool around. My father. Something to do with your father? Yeah. 
I'm trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Ryo, man! That sounds dangerous! You keep it real, okay? Tom, I... I understand how you feel, man. Your father meant the world to you. Yeah. But you've got a lot of friends who care about you, too. Friends. Yeah, man! And you shouldn't worry them. Tom. You're one of my best buddies, Ryo. I'd hate to see anything bad happen to you. Thanks, Tom. Do it, Tashimashite! <laughs> but seriously, man, be careful. Okay. I'm going to go. But let's talk again sometime. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. I'll be waiting. Later, Tom. Goodbye, Ryo. See you around. you mention it, I think I have. <laughs> right, Vido! Wait a go! But she's really just a friend. Really? But she's a girl too, right? Yeah. She's a girl, but girlfriend isn't a word you just throw around. For real? I'm not really sure what else to say. But I don't think it's a coincidence that we met. A lot of strange things have happened. It's like destiny, Rio. Like what? She's the one, video. The one? The one! And you gotta protect that girlfriend like it's your life! Um, as I was saying before, I'm going to go. But let's talk again sometime. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man! I'll be waiting. Later, Tom. Goodbye, Rio! See you around! about the house. Yes. Did the blossoms bloom on the cherry tree? Yes. They were especially beautiful this year. I see. What's wrong, Ryo-san? It's rare to hear you talk about flowers. It's just that there's a Shenmu tree here that reminds me of our cherry blossom trees. Is that right? I was reminded of home when I saw it in bloom. It's so hard to believe that I was training with father under that tree last year. Indeed. You've trained there since you were little. Year after year under the cherry tree. Yes. But my father is gone now. Ryo-san. Sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Okay. Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Please do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. Yes, of course. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I promise. Hello. 
Kazuki Dojo. Oh, Ine-san? Ryo-san, is that you? Yeah. What is it, Ryo-san? Ine-san, it's about the house. Yes. Is he doing okay? Yes, same as ever. He trains every day. That's good to hear. Yes, but... But what? There are times when he looks extremely lonely. I don't know what to say. I think he might be even more worried about you than I am. Fukusan. Please try to find time to give him a call now and then. I know he would really appreciate it. I might just do that. Okay, Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Please do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. Yes, of course. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I promise. It's about the house. Yes. I was just wondering how you and the house are holding up. There's nothing to worry about. I'm glad to hear that. Ryo-san. Hmm? What is it? I appreciate the concern, but I want you to focus on taking care of yourself right now. Okay. Sure. The only thing I want in life is to see you safe. Really? Don't have to worry about the house. Fukusan is here too. True. Okay, Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Please do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. Yes, of course. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I promise. Fukusan. Oh, is that you, Ryo? Yeah. What's next for you? What do you mean? You know what I mean, Ryo san. Well. Landi. Uh, such a vile man. Have you found him? No. Not yet. I see. But I saw him in Kowloon Walled City in Hong Kong. Oh? Huh? Yes. But he escaped in a helicopter before I could get to him. That's a shame. But don't worry. I won't stop until I find him. You won't stop at nothing, will you? No. I will chase him to the ends of the earth if necessary. Ryo-san. Let's... change the topic. Okay. Fuksan, mind if I change the subject? Uh, okay. Sure, what is it? Is Ine-san there? Ine-san is out shopping at the moment. Okay. I'll call back later then. I see. All right then. Talk to you later, Fuksan. Okay, don't. 
Jojo. Fukusan. Oh, is that you, Ryo-san? Yeah. What's next for you? What do you mean? You know what I mean, Ryo-san. Well... I went to Bailu Village. That's the village that was written on your father's photo from when he was younger. Yeah. Did you learn anything there? Some of the people I met remembered him. I see. Anything else? Nothing important, unfortunately. I see. Something happened between my father and Zhao Sun Ming. Nobody knows exactly what happened, though. What kind of place is Bailu? It's a small village, up in the mountains of Guiling. To think that your father was training there, of all places. The village has a lot of history, and skilled martial artists. <sighs> um, something wrong, Fukusan? I want to go and train in Bailu too! You want? I want to train in the same place you and your father trained! Oh, uh, okay. Yes! My mind's made up! How do I get to Bailu Village? I'll leave today! Fuxan, mind if I change the subject? Uh, okay. Sure. What is it? Is Ine-san there? Ine-san is out shopping at the moment. Okay. I'll call back later then. I see. Alright then. Talk to you later, Fuxan. Fukusan. Oh, is that you, Ryo-san? Yeah. What's next for you? What do you mean? You know what I mean, Ryo-san. Well... You remember the mirror? Yes, the one you found in the basement of the dojo. Have you figured out the story behind it? How it's connected to your father? I still don't know. I see. But it seems to be the key to finding an old hidden treasure. A treasure? So it would seem. A treasure? Wow! How romantic! R romantic Yes! To think that old mirror is actually a treasure map! It's like something you'd see in a movie or a novel! A Fuxan. Oh! Ryo-san! What is it? If you find the treasure, share some of it with me. You can spare a little, can't you? I'm not interested in any treasure. What? Really? Huh. Okay. Fuxan, mind if I change the subject? Uh, okay. Sure. What is it? Is Ine-san there? Ine-san is out shopping at the moment. Okay. I'll call back later then. I see. All right then. Talk to you later, Fuxan. I should call it quits for today.